Welcome to the Blockchain Report, where we discuss all things blockchain technology, digital assets, DeFi, NFTs, and much more. Today's video, we're having the Certic uh, Skynet rating quest. Certic is, or Certic K, is a smart contract uh, kind of security project. I guess uh, they, they do smart contract audits, um, blockchain audits, I guess, all, all kinds of stuff to make sure that you don't get scammed. Uh, make sure to follow them. They also do KYC, on-chain monitoring, monitoring, bug bounties, all kinds of cool stuff to make sure that what you are interacting with is safe and secure and less likely to get hacked or scammed. So they have embarked on, they have launched a quest or a campaign that you can embark on and we will show you how to navigate this as well as a uh, all the questions and answers. So before we actually get started, thank you so much for joining. Please like, subscribe, comment, share this out to anyone you think would be interested in blockchain technology, all the fun stuff we get to learn, and cool rewards we earn along the way. Like these quests, uh, not all quests give us uh, rewards or incentives, but it's not about the quest itself or the project that's doing the quest. Sure, it's nice to go after that project's token or whatever, but just by interacting with different blockchain networks, different projects, it will contribute towards your overall what's called on-chain activity. And this is your footprint on the blockchain. All your transactions, everything that gets logged on the blockchain gets saved, and your activity does get rewarded in one way or another. So keep that in mind. Don't think that all of this is for nothing you're still contributing to your on-chain activity, which is beneficial for airdrop hunting and receiving incentives down the road. So if you ever need any help navigating this, uh, have any questions, comments, have any recommendations, please jump in the Discord. Link is in the description below. And we will help you along your crypto journey. So with that, let's dive into the Certic or the Certic K Fun stuff. So introducing Skynet Quest and not Skynet like a uh, uh, in Terminator. But <laughs> so this is Skynet rating is uh, going to be delivering Web3's most comprehensive security scores for 10,000 projects. So Certic K will do the auditing and stuff and the Skynet rating will give the projects its rating. So expand your knowledge. From novice to expert, Skynet Quest offers challenges in Skynet, Web3 security, user security, and project overviews by module type. Earn gems, level up, and unlock rewards as you learn. You get hearts that are uh, to attempt quests. You lose one with each wrong answer, but regenerate them over time to buy more with gems. Keep progressing, no interruptions. Refer friends to earn gems, and so on. So join the quest here. I actually have someone that sent me a, a code in the Discord. And the Discord's popping, man. The Discord's popping. Thank you to everyone that's in there and sharing your codes, sharing your knowledge, helping people out. It's, it's beautiful. I love it. So thank you. We got almost 300 people in the, the Discord now, so... Man, this seems to be running super slow today. So I'm not sure what is going on, but we're gonna... My Discord's not loading properly. Let's see if I can get this. I need to get the link. Sorry about that. The Discord is not coming up yet. Discord slack in. So I'm going to have to go somewhere else to get this link. Oh, 
Okay, can we get it? All right, here we go. I had to get it off of my Facebook profile. Come on, Discord, what are you doing? Verify we are human. Human. All right, here we go. Now we can sign up. Um, I guess you need to sign up. I'm going to sign up. Um, let's see. Sign up. Doing the security verification. <clears throat> oh, yeah. There we go. Okay, now you will get a code. to your email, check your email for the code, Let's see what it be, what it be, 9715355, bada boom, there we go, code security, all right, so this is unlocked at level three, check out the daily task, daily login, We'll browse three projects. We'll do Iris Network. So this is just kind of going through, discovering different stuff. There's the quest. Um, what's the quest? We'll just kind of look at different, uh, just click on three different projects. And so you go to profile, nope. Oh, the daily task. Oh, okay, one of three was done. Um, we'll just go ahead and go into the quest right now. We can go Skynet rating, we'll start here. Welcome to Skynet Quest. Okay, so we can start the quest and agree. So welcome to Skynet Quest, yada yada, how Skynet works. And we'll give you a quick overview. What is a quest? Key features and terms. So daily tasks, experience points, yep, levels. So the hearts indicate how many attempts you have to complete a quest. You can wait, uh, you can either purchase a refill or wait to regenerate one heart after an hour. Gems are awarded for completing quests. They can be used to redeem items in the shop and can also be used to purchase more hearts. Referrals, you can earn additional gems by referring friends to Skynet quests. Uh, boost coming soon, the shop. Oh yeah, I wanted to get uh, the name of my man. Um, yeah, best XML. Thank you, sir. Thank you kindly for the uh, Sturdick, um recommendation because I did not know about this project. So this is not loading properly. So we're going to slow it on down, refresh. Yeah, it seems like there's a an issue with my network. My phone has really been kind of funky lately. So 
I might need to restart my phone because it's been just really slow. So if you want to zip through this, it might take like five minutes. Time for a little snack. Okay, let's try this again. Let me make sure all the all the tunes are going. Doo -doo, doo -doo. Okay, so Okay, so looks like it's moving a little faster. Let's continue this. Sorry about that delay, but there we go. Okay, so get started on our journey. First quest done. Continue the so Web3 security with Skynet. Why is security important? You can read all that. I don't want to kind of bore you with all this. Identifying security risks, how Skynet simplifies security due diligence, practical uses of Skynet, understanding the security score, <clears throat> let's see here. So I'm just gonna take a little video of this so in case I know the need to know the answers. <laughs> Let's see. Security scores, <clears throat> verified source code is one of the common security threats. Uh, I don't think verified source code. I don't think, yeah, yeah. Unverified source codes are a threat. Cool. We're gonna continue. Operational security. All right, I'm gonna, operational risk. Learning for past security incidents. We're gonna kind of just zip through this. I know some of you don't really care about the the nitty gritty. Just looking to get the actual answers. 
So non-blockchain components such as websites and software applications must be secured. They can be targeted. Yes. What makes bug bounty programs beneficial? Um, so let's make sure that yeah, the har the harness community expertise to identify bugs. Boom. The team and insider risk. Importance of teams in Web3 projects. Risk of unverified and anonymous teams. Evaluating for insider risk. And the role of KYC and team verification. And about certic badges. So why is it risky to invest in projects with anonymous teams? Lack of accountability and transparency. Pretty simple. So the CERTIC badge, a KYC badge means that CERTIC ensures code safety. Let me just double check. Yeah. Oh. No. Okay. So it's false. Oh, so it's not code safety. It's for the actual members themselves. Okay. So now Pepe meme. Let's go. Let's go to quest real quick. Let's see where we're at. See all the Skynet ones. Okay, we completed that. So, so we can go to Web3 security. Introduction to wallet security. So introduction to crypto wallets, custodial and non-custodial. Hot wallets, cold wallets, all that fun stuff. So what is the primary risk of using custodial wallets? <clears throat> so if they experience a hack, you're screwed. So what's the best, what is the key, a key practice for securing your wallet's private keys? Yeah, never keep them in a plain text document or share with friends. You want to store them in a hardware wallet or encrypted offline location. So next, choosing a secure exchange. Why is it you want to choose? Well, no exchange is really secure. I mean, to a certain level, but So which of the following are key factors to consider when choosing a secure crypto exchange? Robust security, strong reputation, history of security audits, the exchange's experience with past security incidents, all of the above. Choosing an exchange with both licensing and security certifications minimizes the risk associated with using a cryptocurrency exchange. Yes, yes. Great job. Great job. We leveled up. The so private key security. Gonna go into some of the questions. Why is private key security important? Because if they get your keys, they get your wallet, and you're screwed. So why is it important to keep your private keys? Because if they get access, they get your crypto. Simple as pie. And what is the best practice for private key security? Write it, no, store it offline, probably in a, preferably in a hardware wallet. 
Don't put it on a sticky note on your computer. That would be hilarious. Our website and DAP security. What is a DAP? A decentralized application. All applications on the blockchain use smart contracts, so they need to be audited. 100%. Because you don't want to use a product that hasn't really been safely vetted. So ADAPT is a centralized application that primarily runs on mobile devices. False. I got four hearts. Nice. What might indicate that ADAPT is potentially malicious or risky? <laughs> Has limited documentation and transparency. 100%. Way to go. We're trying to get to that level three, son. Okay, let's go back to quest. And then we'll go to Certic blog. So the best tools for tracking top crypto wallets. So there's ways of tracking your wallet and making sure that everything looks good. So Skynet Insights allow users to analyze everything. Etherscan, you can check your transactions. Dune Analytics is great. Nansen. Um, yeah, all, all great tools. So which wallet tracking tool supports custom dashboards with personal insights? Dune Analytics. Wallet tracking tools offer specific trading directions to make users money. I don't know. True? No. Nope. Okay. What does wallet tracking help with? Mm, yeah, monitoring crypto market trends. There we go. So how Certic does KYC? Their KYC badge overview. Some preliminary investigation. They do a background interview with background investigator. Dang, ID verification and screening. Analysis and reward. Okay. So they, they do a lot of in-depth stuff that... So Certix KYC badge process includes a video interview. Yes. Boom. What are the main steps in Certix? KYC verification process, video call ID check, review, and award. Yes, Certic KYC badge means that Certic ensures code safety. No, that's what we got wrong before. <laughs> Great job. We made it to level three. Okay, build trust and integrity in project teams with KYC. So that we can start the quest now. So introduction to KYC, why it matters. We'll just get to the questions, try and answer them for you quickly. So why is it why is it important for Web3 projects to have KYC? I'm uh, not sure which one. Maybe helps users trust the team behind a project. Yeah, it could also be because uh, compliance with financial regulations. So what does a CERTIC KYC badge signify? The team has gone under a thorough identity verification process. And how does their KYC service protect against insider threats? By monitoring all internal communications within the project team, um, by conducting rigorous identity checks on core team members. <clears throat> Great success. Very nice. So let's see where we're at on this. Let's see what we got. So we got pretty good 
amount done so far. Um, let's go to the daily task and do some of these. So I'm gonna just kinda click on one of these and scope it out. I think they want you to actually click on some of these. And then you go back. We can go do the daily task. And there are two projects. So now we need to look for one more green grid. Let's just kind of cycle through here and just click on that. Now we go back to quest, daily tasks, and we can claim. Oh, and complete two quests. There we go. Vote on two projects. So we can, okay, got it. Uh, where do we vote? Huh. I don't know how to vote, but... No, I don't see the vote thing anywhere, unless I'm just missing it, but... Hmm... So, I don't see... I'll look into this a little more and see what I can find, but... <clears throat> I don't really know how to vote. Oh, all the way at the bottom. There we go. Is that it? Okay, now go back to quest and daily and let's see. Yes! Okay, so you have to go all the way to the bottom. <laughs> so click on a project, just scroll all the way down. And we'll complete that. And then we can go back. Quest, daily task, claim that. And you can complete the feedback form as well if you'd like. Yay, bullish, secure. Um, just looking around for now. And there we go. Beautiful, beautiful. So daily tasks done. Um, get your XP up. I'll do another follow-up video. We have, I don't remember how long we have um, for this, but it does seem like we have some time. So get in here, get to questing and follow along, but also try and like, <sighs> try and educate yourself about this stuff because it is important. It is good to know, even though all of it's kind of like, you know, a bit technical over your head. I, I still think it's great to and important to know. So get in here, uh, get the quest in, and maybe we'll see in some incentives later on down the road. But if you have any questions, comments, please jump in the Discord and I'll be happy to help. But with that, this is the Blockchain Report. Have a wonderful day, homies. Peace.